If you were about to judge me by my face, what film character would you say I am? Peter Parker's best friend in Spider-Man. Peter Parker? No, his best friend. His best friend, okay. Yeah. But do you know who you look like? Have you seen Home Alone? This is rubbish, I'm so tired, Ken! Welcome to Liverpool Network Club. Special guest of tonight, please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Jack O'Connor. I'm 10 years old and I'm from Liverpool. So how long you've been doing this? How long you've been an actor? So I've I started acting since COVID because I like stopped all my clubs. So I've I asked my mum from about like four if I could do acting, and, but I had too much on. But then, yeah, after COVID, I kind of stopped all my clubs and stuff, so I started acting around seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. seven. So I've been doing it for three years now. Three years? Yeah. Perfect. And how do you find it? It's, it's kind of three quarters of the time it's fun, the rest of the time it's kind of like messing, like it's... It's not the best when you mess up, because say you're at the end of a take and you, you're doing really good and then you like mess up on one line, you can't really fi you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. But what really attracts me is basically you've done this since you were seven, eight, professionally in the last three years since COVID, right? How come you won so many multi-international awards? One of the jobs that I did, we just put it in a few festivals and I just, yeah. Got lucky and won a few awards. Let me name a few of them so you, you can you can find it as well. Gold Award winner of Best Actor, New York International Film Award, Silk Road Cans, American Golden Pictures, the list goes on. Like I've only got three, four of them, but so many awards. Well done. So um, tell me about your family. Do you have any siblings? I have a twin brother, so we're not identical. And it's funny because he's like this much bigger than me or something, but I'm the oldest by two minutes. Just just that much bigger? Yeah, I think he's four foot six and I'm four foot two. Okay, and what does he do? Is he, a, is he an actor too? Or? So he does a bit of acting. Uh, yeah, he, he plays bass. He plays bass? Yeah. Well, what about you? I've seen some of your videos. You play piano, guitar. You do bass as well? Not really. So I know like one song on the bass, which is just like it's seven nation on it's super easy. And then with the piano, I was just kind of doodling around and yeah. And then with the guitar, I have learned that. What's your favorite instrument? What do you play the most? Uh, guitar. Guitar. And, and are you good at it? Yeah. So tell me about your recent work. Um, have you been working on a project recently? Yeah, so um, the, the film that I won awards for, that... Uh, the same writer as that is writing a new film, and I'm I've got a part in that. Um, there's a few other. There's uh, mainly I'm auditioning. I've had a few like uh, roles as extras, but nothing big for a while now. And what is your favorite role that you've played so far? Which one of them was your you preferred over others? It's Luca from Enemy of the Heart. It was just like fun to play. It was it was exciting. Uh, it was pretty funny as well because I was like running around in this coat that was like massive on me, and then I was riding a bike that I couldn't even ride. Like I was up here and I could I couldn't my feet weren't even touching the pedals. People had to like hide and push me. It was funny, but yeah. Also, one of the other people in it, we it was like. We'd laugh between every takes pretty much over nothing. I don't even really know what, but yeah. Is this something you want to do in long term? Or I know you might you might not be ready to answer this question, but for how would you feel about it? Do you think this is something you want to do in future or you just want to do it as a hobby? Kind of in the middle because I've got three, like two, three main things that I want to do. Acting is one of them, so... What's the other ones? I like basketball and music. Basketball and music. And do you do any, like, bas do you play any basketball or...? So, I mainly only play basketball in school, but I've, I can say I've got decent at it. Like, I'm not great, but I'm all right. How do you find a school? Do you enjoy going to school? It's not terrible. I, <laughs> I mean, I get to play basketball there. Hey, what about your other classmates? Do they know that you are featured in very, very much, like international films, short films, and you want to... Do they know about what you do? So they do know that I'm an actor, and they have heard about a few of the awards that I've got, 
because uh, I've brought them in a few times. I haven't brought the same ones in a few times. I've like brought different ones in when I've got them to show them. So yeah, they do know about it. Does your parents have any influence over which film do you play, or is it just? No, uh, it was very much. I just decided that I wanted to do acting, and then yeah, I just kind of. I mean, yeah, I use like my mum helps me with doing uh, self tapes and stuff, but everything else is yeah. The Liverpool workshop, the the art council, I think they've posted about you. Have you been involved in sort of charity works, or have you like done anything like that? I forgot where it was, but like uh, refugees came and me and my twin just gave uh, the toys that we didn't use. We uh, yeah, we gave them to charity for it. Let me ask you, what's your favorite role to play in future? Where do you see yourself? Is this like a role I'd want to play in the future? I really don't know. I mean, <laughs> is this something you could just go in with the experience to find out where you're gonna be? Yeah, I just feel like there's not a specific point I want to be at. I I just wanna uh, mm -hmm. have fun. Yeah. So, what is your favorite part to be on a set? What's your favorite thing to be on a set? I actually got two favorite parts. One of them is uh, just speaking to the other people on it, uh, like in the film. It's yeah, it's nice. And then the other part, it's like uh, actually filming. I'd say that is the funnest part about it, like actually filming and getting to see it. Tell me about what you do when you're not doing any films or acting. I play video games and I play my guitar. How often do you play video games? I play them around an hour every day. Mm -hmm. What do you play? Fortnite and stuff. Fortnite? Oh, that's amazing. Okay. What's your biggest challenge in the acting world? The biggest challenge is kind of uh, actually getting a job or learning the script and getting a job usually because usually if there's like say a hundred people going for one role you it's still like you've got a one in a hundred chance but it's pretty low that you're gonna get it but usually you just have to forget about a take once you've done it then you don't get sad if you don't get it mm -hmm. what, what about any current or upcoming projects are you currently doing any projects that you can tell us there's one i am like I've got a self tape for a pretty big one, but I can't say it. Guys, make sure to check the link in the description. His um, social media account is going to be there. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. He has a Twitter account as well. So make sure you follow. I'm really interested to, to for this film to come out and see how you've been shining on it. That's, that's amazing. Perfect. Are there anything on sets that bothers you in terms of dealing with people who are of much older age than you? Not really. I mean, most of the people that I've talked to one set that are older age. In fact, all of them have been really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for one of the jobs I got, they were thing they they wanted a so the one that I got a lot of awards for. They really wanted an older uh, kid because they said that some of the scenes might be too hard for a younger one. But uh, yeah. Any sort of dangerous scenes or any actings that like is action or includes explosions or flames or running uh, through fires or anything like that. There's not actually been anything dangerous. There's been a few things that haven't been most convenient. Like one of the things I did, I had to ride in a BMX, but the tie was flat. So that was like inconvenient, but it wasn't dangerous. It's riding a bike with a flat tire. It, it, like, it wasn't meant to have a flat tire, but it did. Okay. Um, and what happened? It was fine, but it was like really hard to uh, get around. And then Ethan was there as well, and he had a different one that wasn't flat. So he was the, just there, like, telling me how slow I am on it. Well, I'm like, it, it's really hard to push. It's got a flat tire. Ooh. That's a serious one. <laughs> What's the coolest thing, like, one of the coolest things you've ever experienced on set? Oh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got two, actually, then. The first one is, is like, I was just an extra, and all creatures great and small. It wasn't that big, but um, there was a bakery, like, in the town that it was filming, and they let up. All of like the extras come in and like uh like pick a cake. Right. So we all got a cake. And the other thing is is the main character in it, and I think the person who's meant to be like his wife or something. In it, uh, we played. So I was meant to be playing football in the background, and they like came over, started talking to like the people who were playing football, and uh, we actually played a little bit against them. Now, do you read any books? Not really. Mm -hmm. And why is that? I don't know. I just. You don't like them? No. Okay, I see. Have you learned anything interesting while, while you were on a show or on a stage or filming sets? Have you learned anything? It took me... Now I can probably learn, like, a four-page script to give me two days and I probably would be able to learn the full thing. 
but that took me a long time to kind of learn. So that was really hard to learn and it's also really hard to kind of, one of the most important things of acting is making sure that while you're doing a self tape, you don't look at the camera, which is pretty hard because like when you're looking, you can exactly. accidentally glaze at it or even just like, it, you, you don't just stare waiting for a line because then the type takes pretty much rubbish. Do you find it um, like easy to do different roles or is it hard for you to switch from a happy character to just come and be in like a crying and I'm in a bad mood and jump back again to be a happy person? It's like a dynamics I'm talking about. Uh, no, I don't, I don't really find it hard to change to like kind of the type of characters. Like I've had takes where I'm meant to be a character that's really grumpy and then straight after that I've had one that's meant to be really energetic. Also for this like uh, Enemy of the Heart that I've done, mm -hmm. it's v the character at the start's pretty happy but then something like bad happens to him. So then he, he's like really sad for a while but then he kind of gets a bit happy again nearer to the end. So that's very much kind of a switch. Can you, would, would he be able to do a, a little... Um, self tape now. This is rubbish. I'm so tired, getting up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any favorite hobbies or collections? So um, my favorite hobbies are um, guitar, skateboarding, video games, and basketball, and acting. Do you have any pets? Um, yeah, I have two cats. One of them is called Theo, and he's a ragdoll, and the other one's called Crystal, and she's a Russian blue. Oh wow. If you were about to judge me by my face, what film character would you say I am? A bit like like uh, Peter Parker's best friend in Spider-Man. Peter Parker? No, his best friend. His best friend, okay. Yeah. But do you know who you look like? Have you seen Home Alone? You should be in it, in the recreation series 2, 2024. I've always said that she, that my mum looks like the mum from Home Alone, so maybe that's where I get it from. Uh, you won an award from the Cannes International Film Festival. Tell me about that. The first ones I was super excited for, but then there was a few that I just got like five at the same time. And, and when I first reacted to it, I just got back from school, so I was like tired. And at that point, I thought I was dreaming or something, so I was just like... Uh... So how did you find out you won this award? Did someone tell you? Have you seen it on TV? Um, or? So my mum told me. Mm -hmm. so you, you also played a film uh, in a film recently. To the spirit, one soul, correctly? Yeah. That's the thing. So, tell me about your role. It wasn't really a big role. I just had to, like, open a, like, Christmas present type thing, just, like, hold it up. Mm hmm Was it hard for you to, like... No. You, was it challenging? It was really easy. Like, just say this is the room. I, I just went around there, walked into the room, went up to the mm -hmm. Christmas tree, just opened up a present, hold it up. So, uh, this is what I want to ask, because there are a lot of, lot of children in your age they want to go to acting, they've never done it before. They think it's all cherry and apple, it's so nice and easy thing to do. You just go on there and then they film you and then you're a big superstar. Is it really that easy or do you go through challenges? What's your daily routine? Well, my daily routine is usually just to wake up early, see if I've got any self-tapes. If I do, usually I do it like later on in the day after school, but I just get ready for school, go to school, come home, got any tapes, quickly learn the script, uh, do the take send it to me agent, see what she thinks about it. And then if, say she says, yeah, you need to improve this one little bit, then I'll go back and do it again. And then I'll send that to her and then just try and find which one. Usually I do like more than one to send to her just so I can see which one's the best out of all of them. Um, so I just go there straight from school and just, usually me and Ethan do our, um, we do it at the same time, but he plays bass and I play guitar, so usually there's times where I have to just sit down and make sure that I'm not making any noise out of my guitar while the, my teacher goes and teaches uh, Ethan like one part of like the bass part of the song and then he teaches me the guitar of the song and then we try to get it like, right timing together and then we play it together. So you and your brother kind of have your own band? So uh, we did that and we had... Um, my, all my friends, we got to the fight. We got to like the finals, and then we got told to like think of names, and all of us were boys there. So we just thought, all right, we'll just call ourselves the boys. It's like it's, it it was quick thinking, really. 
And did you write any songs yourself or your brother, or have you done any sort of? I have wrote one song. It's not the best, but it's all right. Well, I really do. I've got my friend who know plays drums for for us, and uh, yeah, he just. Uh, have you ever used your acting skills to to run away from a situation or something you've done, or you know what I mean? I've done it like once, which is one time I just really didn't feel like going into school. So I just acted super sick. Okay. And then like... And they bought it. They fell for it. So what happened after you called school? What happened? I We actually didn't call school. I, I went in, but then I acted super sick, so they sent me home. So you went to school, you acted super sick, and then they fell for it, and then you came back home and you rest. Yeah. Okay. Then my dad, if I ever, like... Sometimes if I like fall over and hurt myself, he thinks that I'm just acting, so... <laughs> yeah. I think you're good at it anyway, you're good at it. Cool. Um, one of my last questions, what, do you mostly, what is it that you're mostly proud of? There's quite a lot of things, like um, I'm proud of all the awards I've got that I've managed to get a good agent that... Um, I don't really know, but maybe like if I mention like the best way to kind of get started with it for anyone who does want to get started. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about it. So, the first job I ever got was my mum just looked on... Um, so this is actually, like, how I completely started. My mum just seen on... Um, I think it was Facebook, was it? Yeah, my mum seen on Facebook that there was, like, an open casting call for a show. So, um, so we just decided I'll have a go at it because I wanted to start acting. So we did, and I did a good job in it, but I think they said I was too young for it. But then, um, from it, an agent noticed me, so um, it's a re really big thing to try and, like, to s you, should, you shouldn't go straight to getting an agent, but try and start off with f trying to find a few jobs, see if you like acting, and then if you do... Uh, the best thing you should do is try and get an agent and then after you've got an agent it's a lot easier to kind of get jobs because instead of you looking around for one they get them for you mm -hmm. tell me what sort of character have you developed being an actor to be an actor it very much requires being able to change emotion quick or purposely cry or get emotional because Say there's a scene where you're meant to be super sad, but you're not actually sad in it, and and you're just sitting there like, mm. and just saying the lines. It's not gonna do nothing. So you very much have to like try and like. So far, I've noticed like you in terms of like your personal time. You have to be independent. You have to balance between school and jobs, jobs to jobs, different characters, different timings. Some of them are in summer. Some of them are in winter. Some of them overlap each other and then you have to kind of memorize the script you have to practice a lot that takes a lot of self-discipline so anyone who wants to start into filming into acting make sure to get get his suggestions really seriously because where he's going all anything that he's done is a result of his hard work and all the discipline that he has behind to flourish what he's actually been achieving all the awards all the films he's doing all the actings if the agency sees the talent in you that, that is basically not enough for you to be in a film. You need to be disciplined, you need to practice hard, you need to put time and effort into it to make sure you get the best, best results. Again, thank you so much for coming to Liverpool Network Club. I'm really eager to hear the music you're about to complete and also about the film. You can't talk about it, I know, but we're really eager to see where the film is going to be published. Please don't forget to check the links in the description. All his social media accounts are going to be there. Make sure to follow him, subscribe him. If you're a producer, if you're a film director, here is a talent for you. Thank you. Boom, done.